Hey all, here OS Reviews. Today we're taking a closer look at the Rincon Smart Ring. This is a unique wearable which crams all the technology of a fitness tracker into something ultra compact and tiny, making it more comfortable if you're sleeping, for example, and wearing more inconspicuously as you are performing day-to-day -day activities. But despite the ultra lightweight and tiny size, this thing can track your heart rate, SpO2 blood oxygen levels, respiratory rate, your sleep, in addition to skin temperature, steps and calories burned 24-7 continuously, and even lasts up to 7 days, a full week of continuous usage before you need to top it up again in a included battery case that gets you a combined roughly 3 months of usage when on the road, which is insane compared to something like a conventional smartwatch, an Apple Watch, Android Wear device that needs to be topped up every day. Granted, you don't have a display, so notifications is one area that a smart ring isn't really designed for, but it's still unfathomable for me at least. I can't wrap my head around how it's possible to achieve such long battery life in something so tiny. It's rated to be 50 meters waterproof, so if you shower, wash your hands, it should be perfectly safe. It's fully sealed off. And the exterior shell is also made out of alloy, so it still looks relatively stylish. It also offers no subscription fees with its companion app which is similar to most smartwatches and fitness trackers, but believe it or not, it's actually unique in the smart ring market. Competitors like the Aura Ring, which believe it or not, charge you up to $6 a month to unlock all your metrics when syncing it with the companion app. So great to see that this model, the Ringcon, has lifetime usage with their companion app for free, bundled with a purchase of the ring. Comes in three color variants. There is a black model, but you can also pick between a gold and also a silver. And depending on the size variant, weighs between only three to five grams. So ultra light as well. And automatic tracking, again, of everything. You don't have to press any keys. It even tracks naps as well that you take during the daytime. So you'll first receive a box that includes a sizing kit that will allow you to try out different sizes of rings if you're not sure which one might be the best fit, ranging from size 6 all the way to size 14. And it's true to life, also includes some color shades to give you an idea of what the actual ring will look like before you can finalize your order. After which point you'll get the real smart ring, which also reveals that the ring's battery capacity is 22 milliamp hours, 500 milliamp hours with the charging case. So crazy that that's enough juice to again operate this thing for over a week. Inside here we'll have just a quick thank you card on the very top. You'll find some additional quick start guide and warranty info, plus the ring itself. We have the silver variant in size 9, and then down below here is where you'll find the charging case. Last but not least, lifting up the very bottom compartment just contains USB Type-C charging cable, standard stuff for the battery case. A closer look at the hardware, it is indeed super small for something crammed with all these complicated sensors, basically a small computer in there that is taking your measurements and recording them, saving it, into memory until when you sync it over to your phone. If we have the same design there as that sizing kit, including those two bumps, to add a little bit of grip when you're actually wearing it, and it can be positioned on any finger. It doesn't need to be on one specific finger or spot, which just makes it even harder to perceive the tracking complexity from an engineering perspective. Because again, compared to a regular smartwatch, your wrist probably doesn't move quite as much, and it's always fixed in that one location. The algorithms have to be good enough so that it tries to eliminate some of the false positives of if you're tapping your finger, for instance, which is going to be more common than your wrist, but still be accurate enough that it gets you a good idea of your steps and other metrics. So on a smart ring, the calibration and level of, again, engineering is just going to be much more complicated, not only in terms of the hardware, but the software optimization. Nonetheless, we have a, again, aforementioned metallic finish, although just like on any metal surface, such as a MacBook, it can scratch if you are repeatedly banging it onto different surfaces. Though if you are super concerned, I would say maybe the silver color is best at hiding scratches compared to, say, a black version, but nonetheless, they all look quite sleek. Also, two small contacts there are used for charging when you pop it into the battery case. The wearing experience is very comfortable. Indeed, it's going to be significantly more lighter than any smartwatch or smart band. It's much more ergonomic than sleeping with an Apple Watch, for example, which just feels bulky as you're turning and tossing. So it can make sleep tracking a lot more comfortable. And otherwise, the battery case here also is well-crafted out of aluminum alloy, so it has a good heft to it. Soft touch rubber feet on the back that prevents it from sliding around, and then just a Type-C 
USB-C port for charging the case itself. And at the end of a week, you can top it up again just by popping in the ring there with those two contacts. So it's a pretty good system in terms of providing you with just so much life if you are away from an outlet. Moving into the companion app next, it is very rich in terms of the details and statistics that it provides you with and surprisingly quick to sync. You just have to drag down, make sure that Bluetooth is turned on and the info will be pushed over after about 15 to 20 seconds. And the good thing about Rincon is they have been quite diligent at providing software updates that are continuously polishing up the user experience. In the past week, for example, I've already received two to three software updates. So it definitely shows more attention and care compared to off-the-shelf smartwatches, which because it's more of a mature category, developers might be a little bit more lazy as well. But that's not the case on smart rings since they are still a very new and evolving category. Nonetheless, on here, you're able to take a look at your summary for the past day. Providing you with a score out of 100 showing your sleep health, you can of course tap inside to learn more granular details on this next tab. Calculation of the score is also shown down below in terms of taking into account your resting heart rate, the time that you were sleeping for, as well as your sleep to in-bed ratio. You can also have a subjective rating if you were feeling good after that night's sleep. And really the detailed analytics begin from there, taking a look at if you've reached your goal of eight hours of sleep, as well as a more deep map that shows you all the stages of REM, rapid eye movement, light sleep versus deep sleep are all shown in this granular view. Further down below here also shows your resting heart rate during sleep as well, highs and lows, and even heart rate variability during sleep. Also tracks your blood oxygen levels during sleep as well as SpO2. So all of this is done continuously without you having to press any keys. And if you do take any naps, as aforementioned, it will be automatically registered in the app as well. It doesn't show quite as much detail as the regular nighttime tracking, but it still counts that as time that you've slept in total. And again, pretty good that it's doing this automatically and it's 24 seven. Once you're satisfied looking at your sleep data, you can also check out your activity. So this represents how active you were in terms of steps you've taken during the past 24 hours, as well as calories that you've burned. In a histogram view, you can also see hours that you were standing or active, and also times when you were a little bit more active versus inactive, and that period is also represented in this pie chart. You can also find a stress score there on the last tab that will show you how relaxed you are and tells you an average during different times of the day. So in this example, we can see I get a little bit more stress getting closer to evening times, which is typical for human bodies. But then when you first wake up in the morning after getting plenty of rest, you are at the lowest point of stress in your day. You can also take a look at, again, before versus after sleep. So plenty of visualizations here. What I do really like here as well is another view, which is a comparison between the previous night. So it tells you at the moment your X steps behind or better than the previous day, which I think is a pretty cool view. And in this example, it shows that stress is also a little higher right now compared to yesterday, since we are at the moment talking and doing a bit of filming compared to yesterday, I was just reading and listening to music at this time. We can also go over to trends. Difference here is instead of focusing on a single day with more in-depth analysis, it shows the past seven days at a glance in a larger plot. So you can check out how you're doing in terms of are you getting progressively more active, which can be pretty helpful if you're trying to just look at the bigger picture. Aside from this weekly view, you can also toggle into a monthly and a yearly view as well that just changes the time scale there on the x-axis. And tucked away under other are a few more metrics as well, like SBO2 heart rate variability that you can also take a look at. And then finally under the me tab is where you can see if there's any manual software updates to push over, estimated battery percentage and life that is remaining. And then under more advanced settings here, you can also turn on a ring airplane mode that will shut off Bluetooth of the ring. It helps it preserve battery just a little bit longer and you can reactivate Bluetooth by popping it back into the charging case as well as tweak some of your own goals. For example, X steps that you want to reach, X hours that you want to sleep during the past day. So that is the app component. Overall, I think it's quite simple and easy to understand. In my testing, I didn't really have too many complaints as far as very quick to pair and also refresh the data. It didn't lose any data either in my testing. The Rings metrics can also be exported to Apple Health and Google Fit services as well. So you do have that flexibility. If anything, I would say the companion app, although very rich with plenty of data, might be able to provide a little bit more of a maybe consolidated recommendation at the top. For example, obviously seeing a score that's closer to 100 is going to be better, but perhaps a simple bullet point or two that just says, 
you've slept too late, try to sleep earlier, or your heart rate was a little bit irregular, you can do this to try and improve some of those more intelligent word-based descriptive recommendations on how to act on that data could be something worth considering in maybe a future revision of the software. As far as the accuracy is concerned, when comparing this during the same period with a traditional wrist-based wearable, surprisingly I was within a 5-10% to 10 margin of error that I felt like it was good enough to tell a story of how you've been doing and didn't really deviate too much, which was great to see. Initially, I suspected that a smart ring might be a little bit on the overly optimistic side because, again, your fingers might move a little bit more than your wrist. So perhaps I thought if I took 100 steps, it might count something like 101 steps. I was surprised that that really wasn't the case. In fact, it's a bit on the conservative side, at least in my personal usage. Again, the firmware and the software is always being optimized and tweaked. And so if you are just shaking your hand, it doesn't typically count that as an accidental step. You do have to really move and walk. But when it comes to heart rate and SpO2, those two metrics also surprisingly were pretty much on the money. They were close enough for me to be comfortable with still trusting the metrics that I saw on here overall. As far as some final notes, things to keep in mind, it would be the duration of measurements is not something that you can program, at least at the moment in the companion app. So there isn't really a way for you to say, turn off certain tracking functions to further increase the battery duration. Not that you really need to, since 24 seven monitoring's battery life is already so good, but that's just something to keep in mind. It does mean that sometimes the lights will come on every so often, kind of a green light for SpO2 and a red light for heart rate. I don't find this to be too distracting. It's quite easy to ignore unless you are in pitch darkness and kind of staring at it. But even so, if you're just kind of lying down like this in bed, you don't really notice it either. And it doesn't get really hot or noticeably warm either, despite doing all of these calculations on something so tiny. Really not bad at all for what it is. You get used to it very quickly after slipping it onto your fingers. So that is more or less it as far as our hands-on review of the Rincon Smart Ring. My first experience with a Smart Ring wearable, I am reasonably impressed with the performance. The fact that the battery life really is as good as the claims are suggesting, which is still hard for me to believe, and the fact that it is reasonably well made and also priced decently I'd say, similar to a more premium smartwatch, but not outlandish for something that is such an engineering marvel. So this can be a great alternative to, again, a smartwatch if you want something just more discreet, perhaps for business professionals as well, where you don't want a digital display flashing on your wrist. Or if you are an existing smartwatch owner, even though some of the features may overlap, it can still be a secondary companion if you find that traditional smartwatches are too uncomfortable for sleep tracking. You can continue wearing your watch for notifications and calls, but then just remove it at night and then continue wearing the ring for those other metrics. It's the stuff of science fiction from just years ago and crazy how much Again, tech is crammed into something that is so slim and tiny. And more than anything, I'm just excited to see how this category will blossom since it's still very much a first generation type of product. It can only get better from here. You can check out more details if interested in the links down below, but for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. That's been the Rincon Smart Ring.